Hi, welcome to MAC 2233 Business Calculus. My name is Ms. Wendy Pagoda. I'll be your instructor for this course. In this orientation video, I'll walk you through the navigation of this class. Click Start Here to get started. Please read through this orientation page and read the syllabus. You can quickly view the syllabus by clicking on this icon or just click the syllabus link to download a copy to your computer. The syllabus changes from semester to semester, so make sure you read your actual course of syllabus. This syllabus shows the components of your grade, different college policies and course policies, and at the very end, you'll see a schedule, a tentative schedule. Make sure you print out this page as it will help you keep on track throughout the, uh, throughout the semester. Going back to our orientation, after you finish reading the syllabus and going through this orientation video, click next at the bottom of the screen. You can now begin the orientation quiz. This must be completed within the first few days of the semester or you'll be withdrawn from the course. Make sure to answer the questions and then click Submit Quiz. Then click Next to go to the next part. In this next part, this is a discussion board. In this discussion, please click reply over here to post an introduction about yourself. It could just be a few sentences or really any length you want just to let your classmates know who you are and get to meet and socialize with your other classmates taking this class. When you're done, click post reply, then click next. The next part of this introduction to the course is just a review of the skills you might have learned in college algebra or whatever math course you took before this one. Um, I wouldn't recommend actually watching all these videos. They don't take very long, maybe about a minute or two each one, and they'll open up in a new window. But if there's a component that you really just don't remember, please do click one um, just to kind of refresh your memory. If you feel you're good or you just want to try the skills review homework, just click next. When you click next, this will bring you to the online homework system, but this is also going to be the online testing system, as well as access to your ebook and other really cool resources for the class. You, um, it's a software called My Math Lab. You will need an access code for this. You can purchase it directly online or you can purchase it through your bookstore. Um, if you're not quite sure if this class is right for you, you can even request just temporary access for two weeks just to try it out. So. To get started, just uh, read the agreements, which I'm sure you're going to read very clear carefully, and then click I accept. If you've already used my Math Lab or another um, Pearson Mastering product, such as my Econ Lab, log in. Otherwise, create an account. Um, when you do create an account, if you if you do have to create an account, make sure you use your college email or an email address you regularly use and check, because this will be the email that I reply to if you have any homework questions. I've already created a uh, sample account, so let me just log into that. And this will bring you to the purchasing screen. If you purchase an access code from the bookstore, you would, type, you would click on this access code link and type it in. If you haven't already purchased an access code and you know that you would like to stay in this class, you can purchase it now. And often this price is a little bit lower. It does change from semester to semester, but often it is a little bit cheaper than the bookstore, but sometimes not. So just double check. Um, since I don't actually want to purchase an access code on this uh, test student account, I'm just going to click the get temporary access without payment for 14 days. And you can click this link as well. It will remind you in 14 days to pay, so don't worry about this. If you just want to get started in the course, please do click the temporary access. Okay, so um, I can print this page's receipt or I can just go directly to my courses. 
This will open up in a new window, which may or may not work for you. If it doesn't work for you, make sure to disable your pop-up locker and you can get started right on the homework. Um, to start on the homework, you just click on a question and just type in your answer. So let's see here, it's asking me what f of 5 is, so let's see, just plug in 5, 7 times 5 is 35, plus 7 is 42. I can hit enter or check answer, and I answered this part of the question correctly. And I can keep going, but I don't really, well, I'm, okay, I guess I will. So let's see, this would be uh, 7x plus 14, I think. And the last one would be negative 7x plus 7. All right. When you get a question right, it will put a check mark over it. Well, let's go back for a moment. When you get a question correctly, it'll put a check mark over here. If you get a question partially correctly, you'll get a partial check mark. And if it's wrong, you'll get an X. You can keep reworking these questions until you get it right. So don't worry about trying things out. If you are having trouble on a question, there is this question help feature in the upper right. And there's several features available. Um, some of them have videos. These are actually the same videos that I linked to before, which will show you how to, maybe it might show you a lesson or might show you an example of how to work this. Um, a few more useful links though is the help me solve this, which will actually help you work through this question step by step. Let me show you that really quick. So I just click continue. And it's just walking me through this question. So it's telling me, okay, I should be plugging in five over here because that's the X value. And it's just helping me work step by step. So this would be 35 plus seven. And this will be 42. So it's just helping me work step by step through this question. After you complete the Help Me Solve This, it will generate entirely new numbers in the question to give you a different question to work through, but very similar. Another way you can uh, get help is to view an example. So this is just them working out a very similar question. And the idea is that hopefully by viewing an example, you can then approach the problem yourself. Another useful tool in the question help is you can view the textbook. This will bring you right to the section of the textbook that will help you with this question. So it won't give you access to the whole ebook, just the one chapter that's useful for this question. So this is showing me all about functions and I can click on the next page to go to the next page. Etc. The last really useful tool in this question help is the Ask My Instructor button. So the idea here is you type some message to me and click send. This will send me a message to my email that attaches your homework problem and what your question is about the homework problem. When I reply to this email, it replies to the email address that you registered with for the software. That's why it's really important that you actually put an email address you, you check regularly. Because if you use the question help and you didn't put, um, and use the Ask the My Instructor button, but you didn't put an email address that's correct or not one that you check, you won't get my responses. So make sure you put the correct email address. Okay, let me close this out. And let's go back to the uh, Canvas course. When you do your homework, your scores are not automatically um, uploaded into Canvas. I will upload them into Canvas about once a week, so I have to do that manually. So if you don't see changes right away, please don't worry about it. They will actually be in your Canvas gradebook eventually. If you want to access my math lab, um, the full version of my math lab, not just that one homework assignment that's linked to inside the course, you can click on this My Lab and Mastering button. In fact, I highly recommend you use this button to access your homework, since I don't think you'll tend to do your homework all in one go. 
So when you click on this, just click on the My Math Lab with Pearson eText Course Home. So click on the second link. And if this link doesn't work, again, make sure that your pop-up blocker is disabled. That's usually the problem. And this will bring you to the full version of My Math Lab, which is probably the better way to go. In this full version of My Math Lab, you have access to all different kinds of tools, including access to the e-textbook, just an, just an e-book, so the whole version. You can go right to a specific chapter by clicking on these different sections and clicking on e-text or a video presentation for it. Um, I'd recommend the e-text. The video presentations tend to be a little bit dry, but you know, it might be useful for you. Um, you can go back to the main menu by clicking on main menu. There's a multimedia library, which has, if, let's say I just have an issue in section 1.2. I can go right to 1.2, click on select all, and it'll show me different components, um, different videos I can look at, maybe different animations to illustrate a concept. So these are all really cool features that are included in this ebook and in the My Math Lab program. Let's go to the e-text for a moment. So again, I'm just going to view the whole e-text right now. And let me just click on a section here. Let's click on section 1.4. So this is your e-book, which is very similar to your textbook if you were to buy a physical textbook for the class but there are certain interactive elements. So if you see a, video, see a symbol like this, it's a video for the section. You can also jump to right to any page by typing in a page number. Now I jumped to page 130 because page 130 has an interesting thing. It's a you try this section. So it's a little applet that will pop up if you want to work a problem with the textbook. There's no extra credit for this. It's just extra practice for you. OK, let me close out all these windows. And let's go back to the class. So going back to the home page of the course brings you to this, clicking on home here, brings you to the starting screen of the class. The getting started orientation introductions and getting ready for chapter one is the module we just went through. Also in the first week of the class, I'd like you to do the first few sections of chapter one. And what I'd like you to do is shown on the syllabus page, um, I mean on the actual syllabus for the course, which you can access at any time over here. And then the deadlines for the class are also down here if you scroll down. So we can see here that, uh, again, this can change semester to semester, but this is what I expect you to do in the first week of the class. All right, so if I click on Chapter 1, this brings me to all the lessons for Chapter 1. If I click on Next, Here are some videos. Some of these videos I made, some of them I just found on the internet that I found very useful at explaining and introducing the concepts for these units. So please watch the videos and then take a short, usually one or two question quiz. These one or two question quizzes really just help clear up some confusing concepts and make sure that you're ready to start the homework. So if I click on take quiz, I'll just answer one short little quiz. And you can keep taking this quiz. Well, I'm not going to actually take it, but just select things, whatever. Just not really thinking about this. Don't know if this is right or not. Uh, click on submit quiz. It won't be right, actually. And it'll tell me uh, that I got half of this correct. That kind of makes sense since I just randomly pick things. But you can retake this until you get it right. So make sure to view your answers and make corrections as needed. 
so you can get a good score and are ready to do the homework. If I click on next, it'll bring me to the homework for that section. If, I'm, if I don't feel like doing the homework, then I can just go to next and view the next lesson. And again, watch the videos, take the quiz, do the homework. That's the basic structure of the class. So even though this course is designed to be very linear, you just go through these units, click next, click next, do the stuff in the units. Um, you could really mix this up however you feel. And the way you can jump instantly from one section to another is by going to this modules page. So if you click on modules, it actually will show you the structure of the class. So let's say I wanted to go back to lesson 1.4, jump ahead to lesson 1.4, I can click directly on lesson 1.4. Or uh, let's say I want to jump right to lesson 1.2 again and rewatch that video. I can do that. I can jump right to lesson 1.2 and rewatch this video. Other features of this class, if I click on home, is there's a calendar over here. Anything that's in gray means that there's something due that day. And you can look at what's due if you just go down to the schedule at the bottom here. So that concludes this orientation. I'm really excited to be teaching this class. Uh, business calculus is one of my favorite classes to teach. Uh, a little bit about myself is that my background is actually in applied mathematics, um, economics and statistics. So business calculus is truly one of my favorite courses. I find it very exciting, a merger of both applications and mathematics. So I hope you're as excited as I am about this class. Um, and I hope you find this class useful. If you have any questions at all throughout the semester, please send me an email. You can use this inbox feature over here to send me an email, or <clears throat> you can just type in my email address that's given on the actual course syllabus. Um, all right, let's all have a wonderful semester.